Hey everyone, Gabe Algera here from drumbeatsonline.com, a website that helps you become a better drummer. Today we are learning three incredible drum beats that are going to improve your independence behind the drum kit. So let's jump right into it. So something that I love about these three beats is that the kick drum and the snare drum have the same exact skeleton. They're doing the exact same thing the whole time. But what we are gonna be doing is adding slight changes on our hands and our feet that is really going to challenge our overall limb independence, therefore really making us more independent. So let me walk you through the first beat. What we are gonna be doing is we are gonna be playing eighth notes on the hi-hat. So we're simply gonna be counting one and two and three and four and on the hi-hat. Then with the snare drum, we're going to be playing on beats two and four. So together, it's simply going to sound like this. One and two and three and four and. Now the tricky part is going to be when we add in the bass drum. And this is where some independence is going to come in. So we're gonna hit the bass drum on beats one, the E of beat two, and the E of beat three. So together, that would sound like this. One and two E and three E and four and. So that bass drum coming right after beat two where you hit your snare drum is going to trip you up. Your left hand and your right foot are going to want to hit together. And that's where the independence comes in. What we are doing right now is separating our left hand from our right foot. So let's play this beat together at a few different tempos and try to work on our separation of our left hand and our right foot. Check it out. All right, so we've got that separation between our left hand and our right foot going pretty good. Now I'm gonna throw a curve ball and we are going to try to separate our right hand as well. So what we were doing before is we were playing eighth notes on the hi-hat. But now what I want us to do is take away all of those quarter notes on the down beat. So that simply just means beats one, two, three, and four. So now we're just left with what's called the up beats, which is the and of every beat. So it's going to be one and two and three and four and. So believe it or not, by just taking away those four notes, this becomes very tricky when you incorporate the snare drum and the kick drum in there with the hi-hat. But remember, our snare drum and our kick drum are still in the same exact places. But now what's going to happen is on beats two and beats three, you're going to have this combination of going right hand, left hand, kick drum. So they all have to be separate from each other, but what your body is going to wanna do is play them together. So your hands are gonna wanna play together or your hands and your feet are gonna wanna play together, but going from that and of beat one to beat two 
to the E of beat two on the kick drum might just trip you up. But remember, this is good news. We're not supposed to be able to do it right off the bat. That's why we're working on our independence to separate all of our limbs. So now let's hear what this beat sounds like at a few different tempos. Check it out. So remember, when it comes to independence, it's really just one variable or one limb that is throwing you off. So if you are having a really hard time with the beat, maybe take one of your limbs out and just focus on maybe what's going on between the kick drum and the snare drum. Or maybe just focus on what's going on with the hi-hat and the kick drum. Experiment with taking certain limbs out and seeing if you can play the beat without one of them and then try to slowly incorporate that third limb back in. But now for the third beat, we are going to be using all of our limbs, both hands and both feet, which is exciting and scary. So what we are gonna be doing here is we are going to be going back to eighth notes on our right hand, but we are gonna be playing them on the ride cymbal. Now we are going to work on separating our left foot from the rest of our body. So we are also going to be playing eighth notes with the pedal hi-hat, so our right hand and our left foot are going to be playing eighth notes together at the same time. Then the snare drum and the kick drum are doing the same thing that they are always doing. So this is gonna feel different than the first beat because now your feet are going to wanna to play at the same time. So for your kick drum to come right after your left foot, that's gonna be a little bit tricky. But again, this is good because now we're separating our feet from the rest of our body. Now let's hear what this one sounds like at a few different tempos. If you are super serious about becoming a better drummer and improving your independence even more, I'd encourage you to check out my free 
three-part lesson course called the Beginner's Guide to Independence. If you wanna get this course for free, go ahead and click right up here or on the link in the description below and I will send it straight to you. Thank you so much for watching this lesson. I truly hope that it helps you improve your independence and I know that you can do it. I know some of this can be frustrating at times, but just make sure to practice everything really slow and maybe take away the snare drum or take away the kick drum if you need to, to catch your bearings and then incorporate it back in slowly. So I'm curious, which one of these beats do you think is going to give you the hardest time? Let me know in the comments section below. I always love talking to you guys down there and I'm excited to see you in the three-part lesson course. See you there. Bye everyone.